I'm Tim. I'm Dave. And I'm Mike. We'd like to welcome you to a demonstration of the Buck Diesel engine. We're going to remove a single cylinder of this engine all the way down to the connecting rod bearing and replace it. And we're going to do it in less than 10 minutes. All right, guys. These fuel lines are for the test engine. The production fuel lines will be below the valve cover. Head bolts coming out. Cylinder head coming off. Going to adjust the position of the crank a little bit. Now Tim is going to remove the cylinder jug. Now he's going to remove the connecting rod and piston. There you have it, connecting rod piston and rod cap out in less than three minutes. Now we're going to put it back, but before we do, we want to show you what the engine looks like with the cylinder removed. As you can see, you see the lifters, you see the rod journal on the crankshaft, and O-rings and dowel pins that locate the cylinder jug. Now we're going to put it back. Torquing the rod bolts to about 75 foot pounds. Now Tim's going to replace the cylinder jug. This cylinder jug has a taper in the bottom of it so that you don't need a ring squeezer. Head going back on. Now 
Head bolt. Head bolt and torque to about 140 foot pounds. Tim's going to put the fuel lines back on. And you'll notice we're not going to bleed these fuel lines after we uh, get them on. We're going to start this engine without bleeding the lines. It'll take it a few seconds longer to start than if it was a pressurized system. So from running engine to running engine, we've been uh, taking about 7 minutes and 30 seconds. I think that's pretty phenomenal, and I don't know of a single engine that you can do this with. We'd like to thank all of you for watching this video.